I make them so mad, they got no swag. Pippin's on my feet, they the throwbacks. Look. What a putrid offering. Don't fight. You have been chosen. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still- I'm coming. <coughs> are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? 
If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look care... That's all you've got? A painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? The meaning... could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. On natural sciences, linguistic... Dark water is off the coast of Boston. All I have to do is go to the port. I wonder why I still take these things. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A ah, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, 
You'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Hey, Sullivan, the same goes for you, sir. Move along. They seem to be very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me? These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. <laughs> They're superstitious. If only you knew. They only listen to Captain Fitzroy. And not always. And you. What brings you to our island? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn to accept some friendly advice. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't under- Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy! in trouble. Come on, can we sort this out? You can see he's half drunk. There's nothing for There's you nothing here either. To sort out. Beat it. Your chum wanted to stir us up. <laughs> There's nothing well, you for can you stay here to watch either. If you want. Beat you it. Can pick up the pieces. Come on, you bastard. You'll see what a true sailor's got in his belly. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners. And the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new.
you stupid idiots. Get it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an old man. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Who's this guy? No idea. You better... What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? Cap, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> she sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. What are you guarding, exactly? Listen, Bonehead, we already told you that we're guarding our boss's turf. What are you guarding, exactly? Listen, Bonehead, we already told you that we're guarding our boss's turf. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I bid you, gentlemen, farewell. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an old man. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. I could use this old winch to lift the grating, but it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. Ratchet device. Exactly what I need. A whale vertebra. This place is full of junk.
This handle will be perfect for the winch. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Your turf? That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out, and anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. As you wish. If you've broken my nose... I was careful. This time. Do you want us to take care of him, Cat? No. Not yet. You don't lack nerve. And you've got a fairly good right. I'm always on the lookout for well-built guys to work for me. I'll make a note of it. Please do. I'm Cat. I run the neighborhood. Everyone marches to my tune here. Rather than foolishly risking your skin, Come and see me in the bar one of these days. We can talk about what I can do for you. And what you can do for me.
In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I don't have time for all this bravado. Don't be so high and mighty, sir. We don't like mainland snobs. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. I've got what I need. Anything else? What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors.